And, you know, this is perfect timing because Kawaki and Shikamaru were just talking about Amado anyway, and Kawaki thought he was a goner, so he didn't really seem to care much. And Shikamaru, as he talks to Amado now, actually, quick thing before I actually talk about what they're talking about. Um, I'm sure a few people are going to complain about this whole phone call thing anyway, because, you know, some people don't like this technology advancement thing in the Naruto franchise as a whole. I think that it makes perfect sense because of how far, you know, we have come time-wise. So I don't mind this at all. This is a very minor thing, but I did see a few few people complain about it. Doesn't bug me in the slightest though. Anyway, so yeah, Shikamaru asks about Code and what happened to him, and then he finds out from Amino that Ida ended up changing sides as well. So Shikamaru is just getting revelation after revelation. Amino also says that. Um, that the village doesn't want these siblings as enemies so that um, he should accept Ida's uh, proposal. Well, Shikamaru made the proposal, but he should keep that intact and also add Damon to it because Damon is revealed as well to Shikamaru here. And uh, so Amado's just advising him that this could be what they need to turn the tables. So they want the siblings as allies, not enemies. And then he also mentions that Code's limiters are now removed as well. So like I said, Shikamaru is getting revelation after revelation at the moment about what just occurred over there on Amado's. And right after that call is done, um, or right as it's ending, Shikamaru says he has a lot more questions for him when he gets back to the village. And he said he's going to take about three to four days to get there. So now I'm wondering if Team 7 is going to be called up to escort them maybe safely. Or just to make sure nothing else happens necessarily. Because um, after the call, Ida ends up telling Amado that she'll kill him if he doesn't get her to get along with Kawaki. So that's another plot point that's going to be big, I feel like, when they get to the village. And right after Shikamaru is done with the call, Team 7 and Naruto are both summoned to the Hokage office uh, to talk to Shikamaru about everything that just unfolded. Because I believe Shikamaru took the call in the office and Naruto was with Kawaki. Um, then we shift over to a whole nother scene. We haven't seen a ton of Hinata, I would say, doing, you know, much significant things in this manga. But, uh, so we had a scene here where Hinata cries as Boruto is about to leave for this mission that Shikamaru is summoning him for. And she's pretty much worried that he may never return. And... Something else to note here is that Himawari is listening to all of this in the background. Uh, Boruto responds to Hinata by telling her that he'll come back no matter what and that he promises that. So just because he promised that though, I feel like something's going to go wrong. Now, I don't know if this is going to maybe be the arc that leads to the time skip, but I feel like it's a very strong possibility that Boruto will maybe spend these three years or two years, four years, whatever they want to do for this time skip, I think he's going to spend those years away from the village because of something that's going to happen. That'll be crazy, something with a lot of consequences, and that's where I think this promise might get broken. Um, now, I don't know who he's going to spend that time with. It could be Sasuke. could be Kashin Koji, maybe, if something crazy happens. Um, he could be a captive, for all we know, but uh, I, I doubt that one. But, uh... A lot of possibilities, you know, and um, it is nice, like, you know, Hinata showing some concern right there for him. Very, you know, very parent-like thing to do. So, makes sense that uh, that would be part of it. I do kind of wish that Hinata would get a little more involved in some of these stories sometimes because we haven't seen a ton of the older um, people from Naruto aside from really Naruto, Shikamaru, and uh sasuke and occasionally sai and this is just for the manga i know the anime uses some others here and there but um it's never like a crazy you know like significant role uh i also think the manga should really bring back konohamaru because they're you know he's supposed to be team seven sensei right so um even though team seven's not you know with him anymore on missions because sarada's a uh, tuning now uh, it would still be nice to see more stuff with him, too, because he should be someone who, you know, will take the torch down the line if they write him right. Uh, moving on. So, after Boruto goes on 
through the conversation with Hinata and leaves the house, Momoshiki ends up appearing. And this is like the time stop thing, I believe, where he appears, time stops for a little bit, and they talk. Momoshiki appears and he asks Boruto why he wants to continue his life if it only holds despair at the end of the day, and that the time when he'll lose everything is rapidly getting closer to appearing. So this is just telling us as readers that whatever these losses they've been talking about for so long of Boruto losing everything is getting closer and closer. So honestly, maybe arc by arc we're getting there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see for sure um, what kind of bodies they're about to drop because I really think they're about to kill off some people based off what they're saying there. Um, whether they come back or not, we don't know. Um, and we don't know who they're going to decide to axe. But if you have any guesses, let me know. Um, on, off the top of my head, though, on a side note, I think Shikamaru and Sasuke are potential people that they might go and kill off. That's my initial guess, at least. So, um, Momoshiki says that once Boruto ends up losing his will to live, that's when he'll completely take over his body and live out Boruto's life. So pretty much Momoshiki's plan now is to possess his body now instead of uh, resurrecting since he can't do that anymore. So now the idea would be that Boruto kind of lives like, you know, in the side, uh, side of their mind and, you know, he's a lot more weak-willed. He has no desire to even fight Momoshiki taken over anymore. That's kind of the point Momoshiki is trying to drive him towards. Uh, and Boruto responds by saying that he'd rather die, but Momoshiki says in response to that that he won't let Boruto die ever again because, you know, of what happened. So uh, I think Momoshiki is actually going to keep his word there and he's going to really be on top of situations if Boruto's in trouble by like taking over and making sure that the body doesn't get damaged to the point where. Uh, he'll die. Uh, so the last thing Momoshiki says is that he looks forward to Boruto's fate, or well, to see Boruto's fate. So more foreshadowing of that. It's always, you know, crazy when Momoshiki pops up and has a conversation or even, you know, fights. Anything involving him usually is pretty interesting, so I really enjoyed that part of the chapter the most. Um, and Team 7 now sees Boruto, and he's just kind of screaming, rambling to himself a little bit. Then he just goes away. Team 7 itself, though, like Mitsuki and Sarada, are pretty excited because they haven't been on a mission in so long. So they thought everyone, you know, was going to be pumped, pumped up. And, uh, well, then they saw Boruto like that, so they thought that was a little weird, especially Sarada did. Um, next, we cut over to Himawari. So I'm glad really glad that they showed this scene in the manga because of just you know what's going on in the anime right now too with that uh anime canon arc with Himawari and Kawaki so Himawari asks Hinata how she would feel if she became a ninja to help out Boruto and I really really love this because Himawari was questioning like what route to go in the anime like what she wanted to do Did she really want to be a ninja? Did she want to be something else? Did she maybe want to be a ninja and do something else at the same time? Like what's her like motivation? This could be a really good motivation seeing what's happening to Boruto the impact it's having on Hinata and You know just having the desire to help her older brother out now For you know her own sake for Boruto's sake and you know for Hinata and Naruto's sake as well um, I feel like that's some good motivation right there that they could take advantage of. So that was probably one of my favorite parts of the manga chapter 2 this month. Next up for the rest of the chapter, we switch over to Code and Bug. And they go and visit the Tentails in this other dimension of the Otsutsuki that Jigen kept going to, or Ishiki kept going to, either or. Um, Code is concerned now that Kawaki or Boruto may be able to reach this point, you know, sometime in the future because they're full Otsutsuki now. So he wanted to come up with this plan sooner. And he also pointed out, you know, Sasuke can't come here anymore because the Rinnegan was taken care of. So Sasuke is uh, out of the picture as we know for that. But Boruto and Kawaki may develop the time-space ninjutsu ability at some point. Code, on the other hand, is just traveling through his claw marks as per usual. Um, so his plan is to adjust the ten tails, quote-unquote. And... 
he says he wants to make them smaller and more useful. So, you know, going back to the title right there, that's what smaller and more useful was referring to. And code pretty much ends up creating like this army using the ten tails by making it smaller and combining them with his claw marks. So he pretty much has an army of, I guess, ten tails minions, I guess you could say. Uh, the designs in general are cool. I saw people comparing them a bit to Frieza. I see the similarities. Um, I definitely don't uh, mind the designs. I'd say some are cooler than others. You didn't really see too many of them up close, but the one they showed where they also used Code's eye, that was a cool one. And I'm just glad that they look different because I think what would make it worse is if all of them look the same, kind of like how the white Zetsus did. So I'm glad that the designs are going to be at least a little different. Um, that should be a cool aspect of it. And overall, it'll give some other characters something to do rather than just Boruto and Kawaki and Naruto and Sasuke. So we'll get to see others involved as well, hopefully. And hopefully things will progress in a nice manner going forward. I think now, early prediction, before I even make my predictions video in full, my early prediction is that we're going to get Team 7 sent on like a little rescue arc to escort Amado back with the other two just to make sure nothing crazy happens. You don't know. Maybe they don't trust Damon and Ida. Maybe they're thinking, you know, they might betray him or something. So they send Team 7 as backup perhaps. Or, um, or not or. Uh, and I think something that may happen during that time is Code could lead this army before they get back to the village. That would be, you know, a solid way of, I guess, ruling Naruto and Sasuke out of this story, as well as Shikamaru and focusing more on, like, newer characters. So that's why I think it's possible that they do that. Um, we'll see, though, what they do. That's just one guess for what could happen. We may not even get, like, a mission involving that exactly next chapter, but it seems like there is going to be a mission. Let me know what you guys think, though. It is in the comments below. All in all, though, I really enjoyed this chapter. I'd say it was a pretty good to a great chapter just because a lot of the setup scenes were nice. A good bit of things happened. I think it was paced fairly well. Um, the art, for the most part, was solid. I just didn't like it in some of the pages where the Ten Tails was being adjusted. Just felt like, you know, the black... Uh, um, claw marks or the black studded belts actually that's what um, they're called they just look a little repetitive and the pages just didn't look too interesting there but that's just a minor complaint um, all in all I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 definitely recommend you guys check this one out and um, let me know what you guys think of what's to come next month and let me know what you thought of the chapter in the comments below as well but that's going to be it for this one. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, especially if you guys are a fan of the Boruto series and want to stay up to date on it. Hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching this video. I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.